Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Barb Makes Things! It's the finale of my conductive poetry project. This is a revisitation of a project that I did a few years ago, with some new tweaks and footage of me actually making the whole thing. Previously, I'd used bare conductive paint. In my last video, which you can find a link for in the description, I did some pretty messy experiments to find the best recipe for my own conductive paint. All it wound up being was graphite, black acrylic paint, and water. Now it's time to try it out with some writing. I started by writing out a poem with a few key words missing. I used a line from a poem by E.E. E. Cummings. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. This one allows for a lot of fun modifications. It took a few tries to get the lettering just right, but I wound up with something I was happy with. Then I scanned it, adjusted the contrast, and printed it out again. Cause come on, it's not gonna work right the first time. I'm not gonna use up my original. This also allowed me to try a couple different techniques. First I tried painting it on. I went pretty thick with it since my experiment last time showed me that would work best. And I need some more paint. Fortunately, I'll be able to make an awful lot of it with the ingredients I bought for this project. Ultimately, I did a second coat on the most direct path of the painted poem. Using a brush gave me pretty good control, but I wanted to try an even thicker line. I had a couple feeding syringes hanging around not being used, so I repurposed one to be a refillable paint dispenser. The problem I've had with the bare conductive paint pens is running out of paint and then needing a whole new one. Not gonna happen here. I did need to go slow and be careful with the pressure I placed on the plunger because it's very easy to squirt out too much. And there is no undo button for this. No control Z half an hour into the process. let it dry, somehow dodged having the cats walk across it, and got some cracks. That's all right, I can go over those spots again. In the meantime, I can make the LED pictures that will go into those gaps. To do this, I used both five millimeter and 10 millimeter LEDs, then carefully bent the leads like this, so that they would stand on their own and bridge the gap between the words. I clipped a battery pack, in this case four double A's, to both sides of the poem and voila, light. You could obviously do this with written words, but I went with pictures because it takes less space. I drew them on little circles of regular printer paper. If you want to have them be fully enclosed, you can make cardstock strips to go around them, but then I just decided to use hot glue to attach the pictures to the ends of the LEDs. It worked fine, and it gave some more glow around the outside. Hot glue works great for this, because it gives you a glob to embed the end of the LED in, and it's also a pretty nice diffuser. It's very important to have the polarity correct on your LEDs, so your pictures will light up while right side up. I double checked each one on the circuit before I glued it on. It works nicely with both the paintbrush method and the feeding syringe. The syringe works a little faster because you only need to do one coat, but it can also be a little harder to control. Here's the syringe one and the painted one, which you will see in a second here. Enjoy the finished poetry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.
Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.